Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I'm gonna share our experience with you at Wake Island Water Park in Pleasant Grove, California. This is about 20 minutes north of Sac. We actually made a hour and a half trip from the Central Valley to go up and have some fun. You can see there's a lot of stuff to do here. Over on the right is a trolley for wakeboarding. You can sign up for lessons and do the wakeboarding on top of the floating obstacle course that we are doing. Even further on the left of here is a little beach you could go enjoy in the sun, swim around, just kick it with the family if you'd like. But again, we are here to experience the floating aqua park. This session is about 45 minutes long. When you get started, you come up here, you have to make sure you sign your waiver before you get started. So do that before you go when you sign up and buy the tickets. Here we are up to the life jacket uh, section or where you pick out your life jackets. They have a size for everybody, small, medium, large. Everybody could get one and you have to have one to get on the floating water park. And if you like, you could bring your own life jacket such as I did. My GoPro is strapped to my life jacket, so I like to bring my own when we go to places like this. Getting out to the water park now, you can see G right there, that's my daughter. She's getting up on the actual floating obstacle course. When you fall in the water, there's these little notches in the floating obstacle course with the arrows. This is where you get back up on the obstacle course. Under the water is a little step that you could get some leverage, push yourself up and get back up on the floating course. And here we are, see obstacles. There's stuff to climb over, climb up, run across, use upper body strength. There's a lot of stuff. We'll go over that in this video as we go along. And again, there's more I'm gonna point out that you could do here at this water park other than the floating obstacle course, the beach and the wakeboard session. There's a couple more things that you'll be able to see later on in this video. Here is a little balance and upper body strength obstacle. Not too hard, pretty easy. The first one right here on the left, there's a lifeguard that stays up there on the top. And there's a lot of lifeguards throughout the whole park. If you fall in the water, we didn't see anybody have any problems, but if you fall in the water, I would feel pretty safe if you didn't know how to swim. Other than having a life jacket on, there's a ton of lifeguards. This one, this obstacle, you get up on top and it's a slide. You can slide down, boom, right in the water. It's pretty fun. And just not the only one. Now I'm gonna swim on over to the little yellow notch area with the arrow so I could climb back up on the obstacle course. Remember earlier in the video when I said there's much more to do here other than wakeboarding and the floating obstacle course? Look at this, zip lining okay. from tower to tower over the water. So if your harness breaks somehow, if you're afraid of zip lining, you just fall in the water, so who really cares? You can see in the distance there's a, a couple floating orbs in the water. You run in them and you crash into each other. That's a pretty fun family event too. I'm not sure how much either of those cost, but if you check out their website, I'm sure you'll be able to find those details there. Here is one of those running obstacle courses. This takes a little bit of running and a little bit of balance strength, I guess you could say. And it goes straight onto a simple balance beam. You can see, pretty simple, but hey, for some reason I didn't make it all the way across, fall right in the water. When you're standing on the floating obstacle course, this thing is constantly moving around. So it's not just the obstacles that give you a little bit of a challenge. It's also just your balance. The motion of the ocean, you'll fall. This little kid right here having a blast. She's just standing there and the everything moving around was giving her yep. the time of her life. Yep. Getting across these little bridges right here that you have to swing across, you gotta make sure you keep your feet really high so it doesn't touch the water, or your feet don't touch the water so you can get across. When you do get across, good luck landing on your feet. I usually land on my butt. Here is an obstacle where you have to use a rope using your upper body strength and your balance again to get to the top of this tower. There's three or four towers that you could jump off of. Here is one of them. Me and G, this is the last jump that we could do. It's not that tall, about 15, 20 feet max, if that. And it's pretty fun. Jumping in the water, you don't touch the bottom. Boom, there you go. Now you swim back, clean up, get out of here. That's it for the Wake Island obstacle course that we experienced. I hope you guys come out and do this yourselves, especially right now when it is hot as heck right now in the valley. If you do come out here, make sure you tell me what you did, how you liked it, and like, subscribe, and share. I have a ton of family fun videos, and there is a lot of stuff that you could do. My experiences aren't in lieu of you going, but to inspire you to take your family out and go have fun. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.